And then another thing that I explored a little bit and was extremely helpful was visualization. That was actually, so one of the turning points after like being exploring already the coaching and have left my previous field and I was in this limbo state of not knowing what to do. And again, a lot of the like kind of outside came in the LinkedIn comparing myself. Oh my God, I'm not doing anything. My, like there was this self-talk of like, I'm a failure. Like I failed, like, what am I even doing? It was getting really, really intense. And that's again, I hit a rock bottom and I, I can't say I love rock bottoms, but it's always that moment that is on the other side of breakthrough. So I hit another rock bottom. And I was able to, after like stopping fighting that thought and accepting, okay, I am a failure. And then it allowed me to really look into it. Like, am I a failure? Why am I a failure? And I realized that I am waking up every day, calling myself a failure. And of course my day is going to be terrible. Of course I'm going to live that reality because every day I'm waking up and like constantly calling myself a failure. So I decided from tomorrow, I'm going to wake up. I always wanted to be a coach. Just I realized that this is one of my passions from tomorrow. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to call myself a coach. That's it. Like, why do I wait for a point in the future from tomorrow? I'm waking up. I'm a coach. And I started adding the visualization in my morning routines, just imagining myself being a coach. How would that feel like? What would I be doing? Where am I just bringing all the details of like that reality. Um, and yeah, that, you know, I, I feel like that has a huge impact in how we view ourselves and things that we attract and things that we move towards because of our like state of mind and our perspective.